Hello everyone. Today I will talk about the air defense systems of Ukraine. As you know, the war between Russia and Ukraine has been going on for six months. During the Soviet Union, Ukraine was very important to the Kremlin because it was one of the most critical areas where they would face NATO. According to the Kremlin, the region where the Third World War was most intense would be on the territory of Ukraine. For this reason, the Soviet Union gave Ukraine more importance than its other allies. It gave Ukraine many of the most advanced weapon systems. During the Cold War, Ukraine was one of the countries with the most advanced weapon systems, but with the end of the Cold War, Ukraine's weapon power began to decrease. Ukraine has either disposed of or scrapped many important weapon systems in its inventory. For example, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, Ukraine had an abundance of 2160 bombers, but Ukraine returned these planes to Russia. And Russia used these planes to bomb Ukraine. The Admiral Kuznetsov aircraft carrier remained in Ukraine. But Ukraine preferred to sell this ship to the Chinese. Ukraine had a serious legacy from the Soviets, but could not claim this heritage. Therefore, his army began to weaken day by day. Ukraine has a wide variety of air defense systems and official documents. But how well these systems are is unknown. Because, according to some reports, these air defense systems are seriously obsolete and have never been maintained. So we don't know how many missiles they can use in a possible war and how many launchers they can activate. No Russian aircraft has been shot down since the beginning of the war. But we have a lot of data on Ukraine's air defense system. As we have seen in many Eastern Bloc countries, the ZSU-23-2 is located in the barreled anti-aircraft system. This anti-aircraft system, which is a Soviet classic, can fire double-barreled 23mm bullets. This system can make effective shots up to 2.5 kilometers. Apart from this, it is claimed that Ukraine has 30 to 35 S-60 anti-aircraft systems in its inventory. Although this system is very primitive, it can shoot accurately up to 5,000 meters. Ukraine uses another Soviet classic, the AK-630 anti-aircraft barrel system. One of the basic anti-aircraft systems of Soviet standard ships. Depending on the ship's radar system, this system can pinpoint up to 6,000 meters. If we talk about Ukraine's manpad systems, it uses Soviet classic IGLA manpads. Igler is an infrared-guided air defense system with a range of 5,000 meters. In short, the Eastern Bloc equivalent of the Stinger missile. Although the exact number is not known, it is thought to be abundant in the hands of Ukraine. Apart from these, Ukraine has two different types of self-propelled air defense systems. One of them is the ZSU-23-4 Shilka. Ukraine has more than 150 Shilka. This famous system can fire 23mm bullets and has four barrels. Tunguska is the most modern self-propelled air defense system Ukraine has. Tunguskas have two 30mm projectile launchers. It can pinpoint up to 3,000 meters. In addition, Tunguska has SA-19 Grizzin missiles. The range of these missiles is 10 kilometers. Ukraine's low-altitude air defense systems have plenty of Soviet-made Strela 10M. It has a range of 5 kilometers. Another low-altitude air defense system is the new version of the OSA series called AKM. This system has a range of 15 kilometers. As for mid-altitude air defense systems, this is a bit of a mess. It is possible to see both very primitive and extremely modern systems here. In the Torim system, all radars and missiles are carried on a single platform. The missiles of the Torim system have a range of 12 kilometers and an altitude of 6 kilometers. Apart from this, Ukraine also has Buk M1 Gadfly medium altitude air defense systems in its inventory. The missiles in this system can reach a range of 30 kilometers and an altitude of 14 kilometers. Ukraine also has the Cub M1 system. These missiles can reach a range of 23 kilometers and an altitude of 8 kilometers. Ukraine's inventory includes the S-125 Pechora, an indispensable Soviet classic. 
Pachoras, which were used extensively during the Cold War years, have a range of 35 kilometers and an altitude of 18 kilometers. Ukraine has eight Pachora launchers, but this system is quite old. If we look at Ukraine's high-altitude air defense system, there are plenty of S-300 air defense systems here. It is unknown how many launchers he has, but they officially have 250 S-300 missiles in their inventory. The radars of Ukraine, on the other hand, still benefit from the radars of the Soviet Union, as it is the most valuable Eastern Bloc country of the Soviet Union. So Ukraine has a very developed radar network, but when we look at the Air Force, it is not very encouraging. Ukraine has relatively modern warplanes such as the Su-27 and MiG-29, but they are few in number. Ukraine has an estimated 110 warplanes in its inventory. In addition to these, they use six Bayraktar TB-2 UAV systems. However, if we compare the Russian Air Force with the Ukrainian Air Force, the Ukrainian Air Force does not stand a chance. Despite this, Ukraine has a very developed radar infrastructure. If it uses its radar system effectively, it could inflict great damage on the Russian Air Force. Ukraine, which received serious aid from America and most countries, has been resisting for six months against a country like Russia, which is militarily advanced. Ukrainian air defense systems are finished here. I tried to explain the Ukrainian air defense systems objectively without going into political issues. If you found the video useful and want to support, don't forget to like and subscribe. Колоде повітря щодня відчуваю втрату мого світла, мотори, звуки, антиво.